Hello everyone and welcome back to Costream TV. I am Cause and we have finished off season four, week eight of Dragonflight, and we've got a few things to go over. Let's first discuss some of the things we're gonna talk about. Obviously, there will be discussion of Mop Remix. There will be some IO discussion for the monk, and of course, more island levels on the Death Knight in retail. So let's start off by taking a look at the Death Knight in Mop Remix. We finished the week off at 4.05 item level so blizzard put out a blue post talking about how they're going to increase the bronze cat bronze cash values and the thread count by 100 and 200 percent respectively so the greater pool the greater spool now goes from 180 to 540 threads which is a massive increase so the death knight went from 405 item level to 445 mainly because of that major increase in the amount of bronze you get and then not only that if we take a look at the cloak comparison from last week we basically doubled the amount of stats we have in regards to strength. We went from 4,000 to 10,000 strength, up to 44,000 stamina, 9,100 crit, 10,000 haste, 2,000 leech, 11,000 mastery. Almost all of our stats doubled. It was a massive increase with the changes that Blizzard put out, and I think that's a massive win for the community because it has felt really good playing the DK in Mop Remix and just kind of blasting through everything. So on Mop Remix, one of the things my DK has finally started, uh, I believe my DK now is high enough to finally start doing heroic raids. Uh, so I tried my first one and I got into a Siege of Orgrimmar heroic raid and I didn't realize but not running with a healer is very common. So we did an 11 person run with just me as the tank and then 10 DPS and basically all of the bosses melted instantly. Like, here's a quick example. Here's the second boss of, of Siege of Orgrimmar, and within seconds, the boss just dies. I think it's not even 15, 20 seconds into this fight. I think the only reason it took so long is because of some of the RP and the phase changes. But yeah, we're 15 seconds in, and the boss is already basically dead. And this repeated for every single boss in Siege of Orgrimmar. Here's a quick peek at the Amalgam. Yeah, we basically went in and just completely destroyed this boss. In under 20 seconds, this boss was basically de dead. And we were able to jump in and continue to keep going. Like, this was one of the fastest Siege of Orgrimmars I have ever ran. It was really, really cool just to watch these boss melts. I was trying to do damage and thinking my 500 to 1 million damage was a lot. While there's people doing 5 million to 10 million damage. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and just show you guys Garrosh Hellscream. We're just going to watch this, and this boss ends extremely quickly. I think in the second phase, we almost push him before he pulls us into the intermission. So here's where he phases. He gets his health back to 100%, and it I believe it is possible to potentially skip the entire phase when you get pulled up. So here's the part where he gets his health back, and we have about 16 seconds to kill him before we get it pulled up into the intermission. And we are so very close. I think we got him to 11%. We're going to see right now where this ends. And you can see he's just melting. There's a Warlock doing 10 million damage per second. Like, that is just unbelievable. Uh, and it's when we got phased, we quickly get pushed into here. We kill these adds. And as soon as the shield drops, he teleports us right back out. We didn't. Even, it's like we looked at him and he got scared. Yeah, it drops. And there we go. And that's the end. And then it puts us into phase 4. And then Garrosh basically dies. So within about a minute 15, a minute 20, Garrosh, the last boss of Siege of Orgrimmar, dies. And I can remember back in the day having to solo tank this boss, my blood DK. I'll throw an info info card in the top right of your screen. Take a look at it. That was back when this was live in 5.4, when I solo tanked Garrosh on my, on my blood DK. And some of the other things we did in Mop Remix, as always, we continue to do our daily quests on the Paladin. We would go in, grab the three dailies for the scenario, dungeon, and raid. After the three dailies are done, I'd repeat the normal and normal dungeon and scenario just to get the extra bronze and thread. And that was it. That's what we did that on repeat all week. Nothing crazy. We got almost all of our mythic, normal, and heroic transmog sets through buying them on the paladin. The paladin is almost done. I think I have another 60, 70 K bronze that I need to use to finish that off. And then at that point, maybe we'll buy some toys. I'm not a big toy collector. I'm thinking that instead of buying the toys, I might start actually gearing my paladin because Rhett feels really fun right now in Mop Remix. And outside of that, I started playing uh, the warlock. Like I said, I was going to, he's now level 30. 
And uh, what I'm trying with him is to do the little trick where you save all of the bonus experience that you get. You don't loot it. You just leave it on the ground and then it gets sent to your mailbox. And then I found this week aura that actually calculates what your percentage is at now, what your target level is, and how many tokens you would need from raid or dungeons to just open your mailbox and hit 70 right away. I'll leave a link to that down in the description so you guys can check it out. But yeah, so basically in my mailbox, I'm just hanging on to all of the xp right the bonus xp that you get from bosses i don't loot it i let it all come to my mailbox and then once this says that i can once the week or says that i am ready to open my mail i should be able to open it and hit 70 right away i've heard that it's about 400 percent experience gain on your cloak in between level 40 to 45 i don't know what the exact science is but that that is what we're going to try i'll give you guys an update if i get do that this week this week, we were also blessed with some War Within beta raid testing, and I was able to test all five bosses on Thursday and Friday when beta testing was open. I posted videos, what I'll put down in the description below, for both days. The first day was a bit of a mess because Blizzard released all of the bosses that they shouldn't have released, except for, and not the two they needed. Once it finally worked, we did get some raid testing done. And then day two probably has my best boss. So check out the video down below to figure out which one that was. That was one of the other things we got to try out this week. And so far, War Within is looking fantastic when it comes to some of the raid boss design and raid boss fights. So I'm looking forward to being able to really get into that a little more once the War Within gets closer. Okay, and with that, since we've covered all the mob stuff we've done this week, like I said, pretty casual week so far. And it was even casual in retail, but let's talk about retail a little bit. Uh, the DK last week ended at about 520 item level. We are able to bring him to the Mythic Raid this week, so the guild let us bring the DK, and I believe he is now going to become my permanent main over the Monk for raiding. We have discussed bringing him to the War Within once that launches. But with some of the aspects upgrades and just, I did also get my Augury. I noticed that my damage was significantly suffering and I had the Booleans to actually buy another item. So I went and bought the Augury of Primal Flame for the crit. And with that, my damage increased significantly. My parses got significantly better. And then I was able to upgrade it because we've already had a couple upgraded trinkets. So that brought me up to 522.94 overall i did not do any pushing on the dk so what we're gonna do is just jump right into opening his vault we're gonna open it as unholy as always and let's take a look we'll have the three raid slots and at least one dungeon slot all right we have our crit verse neck haste mastery finger really heavy on the haste a mythic track tier chest piece which we already have and then mythic track back piece which we have a crafted piece so we won't be replacing that so I did do a quick sim this to take a look at which item might actually benefit me a little more. And I did also notice that I'm really heavy on my haste. I'm 40% haste and I think anything over 30 you start seeing significant diminishing returns. So I'm thinking if I take this neck piece I lose about 1300 haste. I gain crit which still puts me over the 30% mark but I also gain verse and I think that's really important. So we're going to take this neck and we're going to put these sockets in it and upgrade it all the way because it is Mythic Track as well. All right, and next up we have the Monk. And we did not do much on the Monk at all. Uh, last week we mainly focused on our Blood Death Knight, but I did do some keys on the Monk. We are still 526.06 item level. And we did end up running a few keys, and we actually did some I.O. keys. There won't be any videos since none of them were clean, but they were timed. Uh, so we managed to bump our I.O. up this week to 28.42. And last week we were at 27.97 when we finished the week. This week we were at 28.42. We ended up completing a 12 Uldemon Legacy of Tear. And we also did an 11 Neltheris. The, the Uldemon gave us 22 points, and the Neltheris gave us 23 points, bringing us up to 2842. So we will have at least two Mythic Dungeon slots on the Monk. Let's take a look at what we get in our vault. We have Mythic Track Shoulders, which we already have the tier at 528. And then we also got the medallion, which is the exact same one we have now, except it is socketed and on the mythic 
track. So I believe this would be our best upgrade because we are still sitting on a socket for any other piece of gear we want. So I'm wondering if I can use it on this neck. No, but it is still an upgrade. So we've got two necks, one for the, the monk has a 12 bracket hide. But yeah, we got two necks this week, one for the DK and one for the monk. So that is it. We are now moving on to week nine of season four. And what is my plan for this week? Well, we're going to continue doing some mop remix. I will see what happens with the bronze on my paladin, whether I use it for gear upgrades or for toys. So you may see him get stronger. I'm hoping to get my warlock up to the point where I can open all of his mail and see what happens and give you guys an update on approximately what level to go from... 40 to 72 almost instantly just from opening your mail and we will continue to play the death knight i want to run through all of the heroic raids for the achievements and then end up maxing his item level at 476 in the world of retail i plan on playing the blood death knight and doing some keys so i can continue leveling his gear with aspects i still want to craft my belt on him uh, and i do just want to push a little higher to, to get used to him a little more going into the into the war within because i still have to work on my rotation i know it's very simple but i have a bad tendency to hit marrow end way too too often and i'm losing a lot of damage there so that's something i want to get used to the monk may see some play as there is a few keys i'd like to push on him he's got a few nines that maybe i'd like to push up to tens or higher so i may play the monk a little bit there will be no raid beta testing this week as it looks like it is doing a skip week so the following week we'll do some beta raid testing uh, i might get on the beta anyway maybe try leveling see how that looks i'm gonna continue to play things a little casually right and playing a little more mop remixes in the cards and, and some retail with the gang and that's really it i think week nine is going to be much more relaxed it is starting to cool down a bit with things to do and it is starting to get hot outside for the summer so i hope you guys had a fantastic vault this week comment down below for what you like the video or anything else you'd like to see and i will see you guys on the next one peace out